Next up, Speculation Town, as we delve into some snow on a sequel naming stuff that may or may not indicate what the next game will be like. Hello and welcome to a tribe called Snow Runner Sequel Speculation. I noticed on the Snow Runner Reddit and somebody commented on a recent video about a trademark filing. So I decided to do a little digging. Now obviously this is just speculation and does not confirm anything in particular, at least not yet or maybe never. However, it was interesting to investigate and maybe you fine people will find it of interest too. If so, like and subscribe, maybe even touch that bell, so to speak. The story begins with the mystery clue left at my door, a mention of a new trademark filing of the game Blood Runner, which sounds somewhere between a blood donor driving game, cargo deliveries in war-torn countries, or when someone does too much cardio. On Reddit, we see a screen grab of this alleged trademark filing, and having searched for it on UK, EU, and US trademark websites, I can confirm it is not fake news. The US filing of Blood Runner did indeed take place on the 9th of May 2022. So, Blood Runner confirmed as the Snow Runner sequel. Uh, no. Let's call our jets, hold our horses, and all other expressions to the same effect. Because when you search for that particular trademark, you see that it was also filed on the 28th of May. 2019. In both instances, the applicant was Sabre Interactive, and another company pops up if you look for other runner games. E3D Media Incorporated. This is part of the parent company Embracer Group, which began the acquisition of Sabre Interactive on the 19th of February 2020. For 525 million US dollars, if you were curious, you could buy a lot of Scout 800s for that. So what, Mr. Ben, is this Blood Runner thing about? And does the Snow Runner sequel trail go cold? Well, one theory is that Sabre Interactive uses code names for projects, and one of those projects was Evil Dead The Game, developed and published by, yes, you have guessed it, Sabre Interactive. Using a code name does make sense, as it hides the real name of the game, so pesky journalists, idiot YouTubers, and other interested parties, such as competitors, are none the wiser. Assuming, of course, this is possible in trademark law in different countries. Real lawyers, feel free to correct me. Given that I could not find Evil Dead the game, or even Evil Dead on the UK trademark website, maybe it is a thing. Or my limited search was not thorough enough. Anyway, Evil Dead the Game was released on the 13th of May 2022, so it does predate the second most recent Blood Runner trademark filing by nearly a week. Why would you trademark it twice? And why bother again when, as far as I know in US law, trademarks last a decade, longer with renewals? Does that once again lend credence to Blood Runner being more than just a codename? Are we going to be delivering much needed supplies in dangerous parts of the world? Perhaps, but let us look at another angle. Given all the horrible things going on in the world, particularly where Sabre Interactive was founded, it has since moved to Florida, I am not sure any game developer would want to make a game that gets quite so close to the bone. It would be hard for it not to be considered in bad taste. And of course, there are other trademarks filed by Sabre Interactive that would make more sense. Jungle Runner being one in the US, but not the UK, that was filed on the 15th of May 2020. Sand Runner, meanwhile, exists in the UK and was filed on the 20th of September 2019. Maybe this is merely to give Sabre Interactive options for new games. Maybe it represents the upcoming Dakar Desert Rally game I talked about in another video. Now, of course, searching by name is difficult, as it requires my aging, useless brain to come up with different runner permutations. So I searched by owner. Sabre Interactive. And here we see some other names. Street Runner, Rain Runner, Slotto Terror, and Farm Runner. Interestingly, for me anyway, Chernobyl was another trademark filing, however, like the place it was abandoned, specifically at the end of 2020. Slotto Terror is a casino game on mobile, so that is a dead end for Snow Runner sequel talk. Street Runner, meanwhile, was filed in August 2019, so maybe that road goes nowhere too. Farm Runner came a year-ish later. Now, if you're still awake or a sucker for pain, or perhaps both, Farm Runner was contested by a company called UV Limited, which is highly likely to be connected to UV Games. Does that ring a bell? Well, it was the studio behind Spin Tires and is, as far as I can tell, the sole owner. 
So maybe Sabre Interactive wanted to release a farm runner game and the spin tires maker rejected it. Maybe it is simply a typical trademark protection thing. Who knows? I just thought it was worth mentioning, especially as there was, or maybe still is, some beef between the two studios. 857 words later and we are still no closer to whether there will be a SnowRunner sequel then, let alone what it would be called. In the business, we call that a failure. Except I did notice the time between SnowRunner being registered as a trademark on the 26th of October 2018 and its release date on the 28th of April 2020, a gap of one year and six or so months. With that same time gap, Jungle Runner, the newest trademark filing except for Blood Runner, would take us to November 2021. Now, we never heard anything about a new Saber Interactive game, but then that thing called the Pandemic did take place, and still is in some countries, plus other things. Therefore, maybe, just maybe, it will be dense rainforest where we get to tip our cargo all over the ground. Or maybe the fact there was nothing too compelling to look at means that the year three pass is more likely. I guess we shall soon see because phase eight arrives in the summer of 2022. And that is it for this video. Feel free to give it and or me some love. If you were playing a game where you had to down your drink every time I mentioned the words trademark, filing, runner, or maybe now is the time to call the hospital. Take care. Bye.